Are you ready to spend the night in one of America's most haunted hotels? From the Stanley Hotel in Colorado, where guests have reported seeing the ghost of the hotel's founder, to the Bourbon Orleans Hotel in New Orleans, where the ghost of a former servant is said to haunt the attic, these historic hotels are not for the faint of heart. Some of the hotels are not only rich in history, but they're also said to be home to some of the most restless spirits in the country. Despite their haunted reputations, these hotels continue to attract visitors from all over the world, offering a glimpse into the past and a chance to encounter the unknown. Join us as we explore the haunted past of these legendary hotels and uncover the chilling stories of the ghosts that are said to haunt their hallways. But be warned, these stories are sure to make your skin crawl. Are you ready to face your fears and discover the hidden horrors of America's most haunted hotels? Stick around to find out, and who knows, you might even catch a glimpse of a ghostly inhabitant or two. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado is perhaps one of the most famous haunted hotels in America. Built in 1909 by Freeland Oscar Stanley, the inventor of the Stanley steamer car, the hotel was meant to be a luxurious retreat for the wealthy. It quickly gained a reputation as a place of sophistication and elegance and even served as a summer White House for President Calvin Coolidge. But it's not the history of the Stanley Hotel that draws visitors, it's the ghosts. Many guests have reported seeing the ghost of Freeland Oscar Stanley wandering the halls. And some have even claimed to see the ghost of his wife, Flora, playing the hotel's piano. There have also been reports of a ghostly child running through the corridors, and some guests have even claimed to see a ghostly butler offering them a drink. If you're brave enough to spend the night at the Stanley Hotel, be sure to book room 217. It's said to be one of the most haunted rooms in the hotel. But don't worry, the ghosts at Stanley are said to be friendly, so you're in good hands. Another famously haunted hotel is the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. The Queen Mary was once a luxury ocean liner that sailed the seas from 1936 to 1967 transporting passengers across the Atlantic in style. It was even used as a troop ship during World War II, carrying over 750,000 soldiers to Europe. But the Queen Mary has a darker side. It's said to be home to a number of ghosts, including the ghost of a young girl who drowned in the ship's pool, and the ghost of a sailor who was crushed to death in one of the ship's engine rooms. The Queen Mary is not only said to be haunted by the ghosts of former passengers and crew members, but is also said to be home to a number of other paranormal phenomena Many guests have reported hearing strange noises and feeling sudden drops in temperature, and some have even claimed to have seen ghostly apparitions. In addition to its haunted reputation, Queen Mary is also a popular destination for fans of maritime history, offering a range of exhibits and tours that showcase the ship's storied past. Visitors can explore the ship's historic rooms and corridors and even take a ride on the ship's iconic funnels. So whether you're looking for a spooky adventure or a glimpse into the past, the Queen Mary has something for everyone. If you're looking for a haunted hotel on the East Coast, look no further than the Omni Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. This historic hotel was built in 1913 and has played host to some of the most famous figures in history, including President Woodrow Wilson and author F. Scott Fitzgerald. But the Omni Grove Park Inn is also said to be home to a number of ghosts including the ghost of a young girl who drowned in the hotel's swimming pool, and the ghost of a former resident who committed suicide in one of the rooms. There have also been reports of strange noises and unexplained footsteps throughout the hotel. Despite its haunted reputation, the Omni Grove Park Inn remains a popular destination for travelers, offering stunning views of the Blue Ridge Mountains and a range of luxurious amenities. And if you're feeling adventurous, you could even book a ghost adventure package, which includes a night stay in one of the hotel's most haunted rooms. No list of haunted hotels in America would be complete without the mention of the Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego, California. Built in 1888, the Hotel Del Coronado is one of the oldest and most beautiful beachfront hotels in the country. It has played host to a number of famous guests, including President Benjamin Harrison and actor Charlie Chaplin. But the Hotel Del Coronado is also said to be home to a number of ghosts, including the ghost of a young woman named Kate Morgan, who is said to have committed suicide on the hotel's grounds in 1892. Many guests have reported seeing Kate's ghost wandering the halls and the beach, and some have even claimed to have seen her face in their hotel room mirrors. In addition to Kate's ghost, the Hotel Del Coronado is also said to be home to a number of other restless spirits, 
including a ghostly bellhop and a ghostly maid who have been seen by guests and staff. Despite its haunted reputation, the Hotel del Coronado remains a popular destination for travelers, offering beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean and a range of luxurious amenities. And if you're feeling brave, you can even book a Ghosts and Legends tour where you'll hear chilling tales of the hotel's haunted past. In addition to the Stanley Hotel in Colorado and the Hotel del Coronado in California, two other famously haunted hotels in America are the Omni Parker House in Boston, Massachusetts and the Bourbon Orleans Hotel in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Omni Parker House in Boston is said to be home to the ghost of Charles Dickens. The famous author stayed at the hotel while on a tour of America and is said to have been so impressed with the service that he never left. Many guests have reported seeing Dickens' ghost wandering the halls and the lobby, often carrying a book or a pen. Built in 1827, the Omni Parker House is one of the oldest continuously operating hotels in the country. It has played host to a number of famous guests, including President John F. Kennedy and civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. But it's not just the history of the hotel that draws visitors, it's the ghosts. If you're feeling brave, you can stay at the Omni Parker House and see for yourself if you can spot Charles Dickens' ghost. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of one of the hotel's other ghostly inhabitants, including a young girl who is said to haunt room 303 and a former employee who is said to haunt the kitchen. The Bourbon Orleans Hotel in New Orleans is another famously haunted hotel. Built in 1817, the hotel has a rich history, having served as a theater, a ballroom, and even a hospital during the Civil War. Today, the hotel operates as a luxury hotel, offering guests a taste of old world charm and southern hospitality. But the Bourbon Orleans Hotel is also said to be home to a number of ghosts, including the ghost of a former slave named Annie. According to legend, Annie was forced to work as a servant in the hotel, but she eventually escaped and hid in the hotel's attic until she died. Today, many guests have reported seeing Annie's ghost wandering the halls in the attic, often carrying a candle. In addition to Annie's ghost, the Bourbon Orleans Hotel is also said to be home to a number of other restless spirits, including a ghostly ballerina who is said to haunt the hotel's ballroom and a ghostly nun who is said to haunt the hotel's chapel. Despite its haunted reputation, the Bourbon Orleans Hotel remains a popular destination for travelers, offering a range of luxurious amenities and a prime location in the heart of the French Quarter. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even book a Ghosts and Spirits tour, where you'll hear chilling tales of the ghost's haunted past. So if you're looking for a truly unique and spooky experience, why not visit one of America's most haunted hotels? These historic hotels are sure to give you the chills. While this is just a short list, there are several haunted hotels throughout America. Wherever you're traveling, just remember to keep an eye out for those ghostly inhabitants. You never know who you might encounter on your journey.